Hi everyone. Welcome to Pemidaka, a platform to learn everything about piping design. Visit pemidaka.com to see my latest post. Before getting into the video, I would like to talk about say few words about Pemidaka. Pemidaka was launched to fill a gap between what is actually taught in institutes and what is actually needed for the real time job. I still feel there is a huge gap between what has been taught in piping institutes across the country and what is actually required for a candidate to perform the real time piping design engineering. Pemidaka is going to distinguish from other online platforms available to stay unique by bringing relevancy to the subject for the nature of the job that piping design engineers actually does in day to day life. Thanks for watching my video let's get into the topic. The topic of this video is high paid jobs in piping engineering. In this video we are going to see few jobs that can fetch you high salary in piping engineering. I am Subhash Chandran let's get into the video. The first thing one should understand about the piping engineering is piping engineering is an evergreen mechanical engineering domain that's because of the growing demand of the process industries and the demand of the process industries are growing every day so like other engineering domains and divisions and sectors piping engineering also has tremendous possibilities and tremendous growth opportunities and it has lots of different roles and various uh, positions but one should understand that every position and every role has equal importance in an engineering uh, domain that's because the responsibility of a particular role cannot be done by others so we should understand that every role in an engineering domain has equal importance so that's why it's really important to identify your own area of interest if you don't uh, find your interest you may not be able to like the job you may not be able to develop an interest in the job so it's really important to understand your area of interest before looking at the salary of how much it pays actually so i would advise to choose a passionate job so you have to sit and work on it uh, to understand yourself so that uh, you can find the job that you can really have a passion to it so the first thing we should do is that we should go through all the jobs and all the positions and what it suits you and what it is not suits you what's your likeness and uh, you better know about yourself than others so it's really important to understand your role and your uh, interest so that which can help you to improve your career in a long term but it could be done systematically to do it systematically we should do some preparation and the preparation is not a big deal the first thing you should do in preparing yourself is to understand and aware about the different positions and different roles and different jobs available so that you will be able to understand the nature of job then you will be able to identify whether that particular job can be uh, your interest or whether it suits you or not so the first thing you should do is that try to understand uh, what are the different jobs that are available in the particular company and a particular domain or particular engineering uh, division so that uh, you can pick up one job according to your interest and the second thing you should know is that identify your interest after analyzing different roles and responsibilities of a position so you can compare your you can uh, really sit back and check whether is this the kind of a job that you have really dreamt is this the kind of a job that you wanted to be uh, in in future or is this the kind of a job that uh, you have really dreamt for all these years because there are uh, people who are interested in calculations some are interested in engineering drawings some are interested in documentations planning there are many so it's uh, really important to identify your interest comparing the roles and responsibilities of a particular position and the third important thing is that once you identify your interest and the position you just need to understand what is the skill and the knowledge required for that particular position uh you can talk to a, you know, the people who are actually working and you can gather some information about what kind of um, uh, the skills required what is the subject knowledge required and what kind of software you should know so these are the simple things that you can understand from the experienced people and the next point is then try to acquire the knowledge once you know what is the skill and the knowledge required you can take up some course you can uh, go through some books you can read some materials you can improve the knowledge on particular subject that's all you have to do to prepare yourself to identify your passionate role 
Now we are going to see the different roles and positions available in piping engineering that can fetch you a high salary and the first job is piping designer 2D which is actually known as piping 2D designers and then the piping 3D designers and the third one is piping design engineers and the fourth one is piping stress engineers and the fifth one is piping material engineers and the sixth one is piping project engineers and the last one is piping construction engineers let's see the roles and responsibilities and the skills and knowledge required for all of this position in detail the first position is piping 2d designers piping 2d designers are those who prepare engineering drawings right from scratch they work with engineers they support engineers in preparing all engineering drawings and documents and they are the one who is responsible for developing all piping deliverables from scratch and they involve in all stages of the projects and this position is a very important position in piping engineering let's see the basic qualification required for piping 2d designers piping 2d designer should have a knowledge on 2d software such as autocad and microstation there are many other softwares used in other engineering companies but mostly autocad and microstations are the two major software used across globally and they should also have the knowledge of the 2d piping symbols so that they can uh, develop the piping drawings and piping designer should have an ability to read and understand the pnid pnid is nothing but the process and instrumentation diagram or it can be also called as piping and instrumentation diagram and piping designer should also have a knowledge about the piping routing so that they can comfortably they can single handedly develop the piping layouts so these are the important qualifications required for piping 2d designers Let's go to the next position, Piping 3D Designers. Piping 3D Designers are responsible for developing 3D model of a particular piping or a particular system and they also work along with engineers and support engineers in preparing drawings and documents. They are also responsible for piping deliverables preparation right from scratch. Piping 3D Designers are basically those who work in 3D softwares in developing the 3D modeling. So let's look into the basic qualifications required for 3D designers. 3D designers should know the 3D softwares like PDMS, PDS, SP3D, CADWorks and Autoplans. They should also aware about the 2D softwares so that they can convert the drawings that are extracted from the 3D models. They should have a common knowledge about the piping symbols and they should also have an ability to read PNID. They should also have the knowledge about the basics of the pipe routing so that they can single handedly develop a 3D model, they can prepare the piping routing, they can design the piping routing alone in the 3D model without the help of engineers. The next position is piping design engineer. Piping design engineer is a responsible position in piping engineering. So let's look into the roles and responsibilities of piping design engineers. The first important role is to develop the piping design to meet the requirement of the project. And they have to understand the PNID, PNID which is the process and instrumentation diagram and design the piping system accordingly. And piping design engineers has to plan the layout and design the layout in such a way that the space is utilized appropriately. And they have to assist the designers to develop the piping drawings so that the designers can prepare drawings that can meet the requirement of the project. And they have to prepare an engineering reports and documents which is to be delivered as a part of a piping as a part of a project deliverables and they should participate in internal and external meetings have to coordinate with other disciplines to get and receive the inputs and also have to review all the design engineering documents drawings so that they can ensure that the drawings and documents are gone up to the expectation of the clients let's see the basic qualifications required to become a piping design engineer the first qualification required to become a piping design engineer is you must be a mechanical engineer you must be a certified mechanical engineer from any engineering institutes and you should have a knowledge about the applicable codes and standards used in piping design and you should know how to read the pnid you should have the knowledge about the pnid and you'll be able to understand the process from the pnid so that you can design the piping system accordingly and you should have a strong technical knowledge about the process piping design requirements 
and you should have a knowledge on the layout planning and pipe routing basic pipe routing is very important to become a piping design engineer so layout knowledge is as important as basic pipe routing so it's really important to know layout planning and piping routing to become a piping design engineer and knowledge in piping materials are also very important quality for a piping design engineer and piping design engineer should have a knowledge about the overall engineering procedures like the flow of the process uh, right from the start of the project to the end of the project what is the sequence of engineering and what are the stages of engineering piping design engineers must be familiar with the stages and engineering procedures and they should be having a good knowledge about the piping softwares used in the industries so that they can help the designers and they can expect the kind of the deliverables that can extract it from the uh, softwares so so it's really important to understand the technicality of the piping softwares the next position is piping stress engineers let's look into the roles and responsibilities of piping stress engineers piping stress engineers are those who does stress analysis of a piping system they use a software called cz2 which is commonly known as cz2 and they does a 3d modeling of a piping system to analyze the stresses in the piping system and they perform certain calculations to ensure that the piping systems are within the design range and uh, basically stress engineers are those who understand the, those who study the behaviors of piping system uh, to understand the thermal behavior of the piping system uh, in high temperatures and low temperatures uh, so that the piping system efficiently work in different temperatures uh, during operation and piping stress engineers develop a stress report which summarizes all type of stress force moments in the uh, piping system and they uh, advise and they recommend the piping supports to be used in piping system and they check the flexibility of the piping accordingly they improve and decrease the piping flexibility to ensure that the piping is safe for operation and piping stress engineers important activity to ensure that the piping doesn't uh, yield more loads on to the equipment so they basically check the nozzle loads of an equipment to ensure that the loads transferred to the equipment are safe enough to operate Let's see the basic qualifications required to become a piping stress engineer. The first qualification required is you should be a mechanical engineer like a design engineers. So uh, you must be a certified mechanical engineer from any engineering institute. And the second qualification is that you should know the pipe stress software which is known as a CZ2 commonly used in industries. And you should have a sound knowledge in stress fundamentals so that you will be able to understand the behavior of the piping system in different temperatures and different pressure condition. And you should have the knowledge about the pipe support so that you can recommend certain types of pipe supports in a piping system. And you should have the knowledge of uh, the international piping codes and standards so that you can refer and check whether your design is within the allowable range of the design. And you should be able to uh, read the PNID so that uh, you can check whether the piping uh, design, the piping uh, routing and uh, the orientation is as per the process requirements or not. And you should be able to read uh, the piping and uh, equipment drawings and uh, like the piping drawings such as piping isometrics and piping uh, GA piping layouts uh, and equipment drawings such as uh, unit plot plan, key plot, uh, key plot plan and uh, um, the equipment um, detail engineering, general arrangement drawings. So basically piping stress engineers uh, should have the knowledge of um, uh, reading the piping and equipment drawings. The next position is Piping Material Engineers Material Engineers are those who select MOC of the piping. MOC is nothing but material of construction. The primary activity of Piping Material Engineers are preparation of piping material specification. To know more about material specification, please check one of my previous videos where I have clearly stated what is piping material specification and what are the fundamental structures of material specification. And piping material engineers also has to recommend the piping materials based on the fluid properties. They have to evaluate the material compatibility based on different fluid compositions and its properties. Piping material engineers prepare data sheet for specialty items such as valves and strainers. They also have to review the vendor documents of valves, strainers and all sp piping specialty items to check the compatibility of the material according to the requirements, according to the fluid compositions and the properties of the fluid. 
material compatibility of the service. Let's see the basic qualifications required to become a piping material engineer. The first qualification required to become a piping material engineer is you must be a mechanical engineer like design engineers and stress engineers and you should have a sound knowledge in metallurgy and you should have a good knowledge about the international codes and standards used in piping and you must be also be able to read uh, the PNID which is the process and instrumentation diagram so that you can understand the process and uh, piping material engineers uh, should have an ability to analyze and recommend the material they must be good enough to compare the different materials to um, justify which material is better to for which material is better for a particular service and fluids and they should be able to understand and read the piping drawings and equipment drawings to see whether the appropriate materials are followed in the drawings or not and they should also have the knowledge about the material testing and inspection the next position is piping project engineers. Piping project engineers are those who plan the project. They try to plan each and every activity right from the scratch to the completion of the project. And they track the progress of the project to ensure that the project is not in delay. And they have to plan the manpower resources required for a, um, required for a project so that they can execute the job on time. And they have to follow up with uh, different disciplines and different people and different departments so that they can ensure that the project status are updated. And they have to discuss and have meetings with the stakeholders to update them about the status of the project. And they have to follow up with the materials to ensure that the materials arrival is on time so that there will not be any delay in construction. And they have to manage the contractors so that the contractors knows the requirement of the clients and accordingly they perform the jo their jobs and duties uh, to meet the completion of the project. Project engineers are also responsible uh, for arranging in equipments for installations. Let's see the basic qualifications required for project engineers. The first qualification is that um, they should be a mechanical engineers and they should have a good communication skill both in speaking and writing and they should have a um, software knowledge on uh, the planning software such as MS projects and they'll be able to plan the project activities basically they should know all the activities in the project so that they can plan well and they should have an ability to command and negotiate with vendors, contractors and um, the team so that they'll be able to manage the people and they should have a natural tendency to follow up and um, the, um, monitor the projects so that they can track, they can uh, capture the delays in the project. The next position is piping construction engineers. Piping construction engineers are those who does construction activities. Basically construction activities such as installation and erection of piping and equipments. They also does piping fabrication that are required to be installed in a process plant. And piping construction engineers are highly responsible in managing the manpowers that are working in construction site as the construction site always have a huge amount of manpowers. And they should also plan the resources that are required such as the tools and equipments required for construction in advance so that the day activity will not be stuck or will not be delayed without the absence of tools. Construction engineers should support the inspection and testing team so that the inspection and testing team can perform their duty. So basically construction engineers should prepare the field and pre to, should prepare the piping system in such a way that the inspection and testing team can efficiently come and perform their duties. Let's see the basic qualifications required to become a construction engineer. The first qualification is that they must be a mechanical engineer, they must have a certified mechanical engineering degree from any engineering institutes and they should have the knowledge of work permits and approval process and they should have a knowledge of technical qualifications and the certifications requirement for constructions and they should have a knowledge on the construction and the fabrication so that they can efficiently perform the construction activities and fabrication activities. And they should be able to handle the workforce. Basically, they must be good in handling people. These are the few engineering job positions that can really fit you high salary in piping engineering. I believe this information uh, will be useful for beginners uh, to choose their own area of interest in piping engineering. Uh, thanks for watching my video. I am Subhash. I will meet you with another fantastic video. Visit Pemidaka.com to see my latest post.